if you guys are like me, sometimes I'm working in my project and I'm trying to add in some sound effects and I just don't know which sound effect I want to use. I want to try a few different ones out. You don't have to drag it, drop it in your timeline, try it, delete it, do it again, drag in a different sound effect, drop it in. You don't have to do that. You can actually do something called auditioning your sound effects. Really cool feature here in Fairlight. I think you guys are going to find this one pretty cool and pretty helpful. So let's jump in Resolve and I'm going to show you how it works. Let's go. Before we start to talk about how we can use this cool audition tool to try out different sound effects on our videos, we need to know a couple things about it. The first thing you need to know is that you have to use a sound library or an effect that's in the sound library in order to use the audition feature. If you have sound effects that are just in your media pool, you're not going to be able to use this cool audition feature. It has to be part of a sound library. Now, if you don't have a sound library set up, you can get a free one from Blackmagic Design, or you can create your own if you have your own sound effects. It's really quick and easy. We'll talk about that later in the video. I'll show you how you can set up your own sound library. But first, let's talk about the audition tool and how we can try out different sound effects or any kind of audio in our timeline without actually having to put it in there permanently. So I'm currently in the edit tab. Now you can access your sound library in the edit tab right here at the top of the screen, but you're not gonna have the audition feature. We need to jump into Fairlight to have this audition feature available to us using the sound library. So I'm gonna hit the musical notes at the bottom here, jump over into Fairlight. What I wanna do is if I play through these clips, and pop out my viewer here so you can see it a little bit better. What I want to do is add in a sound effect where we see the explosion happen on the screen. So I want to use an explosion sound effect. I'm not sure which one I want to use. I've got a bunch of them. I want to try a few of them out and see which one sounds the best. So what I did in this case, I'm going to just pop this guy back in here. What I did is I put a little marker where that explosion starts. And I just went frame by frame, picked the spot where the explosion starts. So I know where I want to put in my sound effect. So now we're going to go ahead and open up our sound library. Once you've got your sound library open, you want to make sure that uh, you click on this little guy. You select your sound library. Now I do have the Fairlight sound library that I downloaded. I'll show you guys how to do that in a minute. I have my local database where I've got a bunch of sound effects that I have that I've downloaded from various places around the web. And then I also have one that I've used for the Blackmagic Design training for Fairlight. So in this case, the ones I want to use, I know are in my local database. Now, you know, notice that nothing comes up. So in order to see all of my sound effects or ones that I might be looking for, I'm going to come to search and I'm going to search impacts or explosions. And you can see once I do that, I get all of the explosion sound effects that I have as part of my library. So you can just click on any effect that you want and it'll appear right up here. You can hit your space bar just to hear what it sounds like to sample it if you want like this. And that works great, and maybe you'll find the one you want that way. But what if you want to see it in context with the video? That is where this audition button right here comes in handy. So wherever you put your playhead, that is where the clip is going to be put into your timeline. So I've got my marker where my explosion is happening up here. My playhead's at that spot. I'm going to select an empty track where this clip can be put in and auditioned for our video. So I'm going to select my empty track and let's say I want to try this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit audition and you can see it's going to pop it in my timeline. Now it is not there permanently. It is only there temporarily. So now I can come back here. I can play through my video and see what it sounds like with that effect in it. Check it out. Just bring my playhead back. I'm going to play through it. All right, that one was a little too quiet, so obviously that's not going to work. So I'm going to back up, come to my spot here. I'm going to go pick a different explosion. I'm going to try this guy. And notice in the timeline, it automatically gets rid of it, right? I don't have to click it, delete it. It automatically takes it out of the timeline because I'm only trying it out. I'm auditioning it, right? I'm giving it a try to see if that's what I want. So I pick a new clip. I hit audition again. Boom, it pops in the new clip. I'm going to come back, play it again. I'm going to watch it, see how it sounds. That's not so bad. Maybe I like that, right? And if I want to keep it, I can come on back into my uh, sound library right here and you have either cancel or confirm. If I hit confirm, now it's going to be officially in the timeline, right? So if I click off of it, if I select it, it's there, it's in my timeline. But you can go through and audition as many clips as you would like. Now, let's say maybe you put that 
explosion in your timeline and you don't like it, maybe you want to try something different, well, I can just click on a different sound effect in the library. I'm going to, again, put my playhead where I want to insert it or audition it. Make sure you select your track first. You always have to select the track. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit audition, and it's going to overwrite that existing sound effect that was there. I'm going to play through it, see how it sounds. Okay, not bad. Maybe I like that. So I can either hit confirm to keep that sound effect, or if I hit cancel, it's going to get rid of it and just leave the effect that was already in our timeline. It's going to leave that there as it is. And just to show you what it looks like with that little bit of music in there, I'm going to go ahead and unmute my music track, lower down that explosion a little bit. And here's what the whole thing looks like when you put it all together, pop out my window. Here's what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? And we could try out all those different sound effects that we want to put in there and see what we like and then accept it and actually have it officially inserted in the timeline. So in order to use the audition effect here in Fairlight, you do have to have a sound library set up with your audio in that sound library. So if you don't have a sound library set up or you're not sure how to set one up, it's pretty easy and I'm going to show you how to do it. But before I do, I want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is Skillshare. Skillshare is an awesome online platform where you can learn a whole host of different types of things. I've been on there learning from MKBHD about how to run my YouTube channel a little bit better. There's DaVinci resolve courses on there you can learn how to work in illustrator or photoshop learn photography or video editing you can even learn things like microsoft excel so you can keep track of all your business income and expenses and all those different income streams you might create for your youtube channel i'm even watching a class that's helping me learn how to play my saxophone a little bit better because it's been a few years since i played consistently I'm a little rusty so the skillshare class is helping me practice and teach me new things about playing the saxophone by the way, how cool is this 1936 Brashear Aristocrat saxophone? It's pretty cool and it sounds great. So if you guys are looking to learn some new skills, maybe you're learning to knit or sew or cook, they've got classes for all that stuff. Use the link in the description below. You'll get a free month when you sign up. You can try out any of the classes that they have, see what they have to offer, go learn a new skill, try something out that you might be interested in that you didn't get a chance to look into yet. And if you're like me, you're gonna walk away and say, wow, that was pretty good. I really enjoyed that class. They were filmed well, they were edited well. It's nice little short sections that I can jump in there when I've got 10 or 15 minutes to learn a lesson. And now I'm walking away with a new skill under my belt that I didn't have before. So a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Really appreciate you guys supporting the channel and providing an awesome service for us to be able to learn and continue to gain knowledge in a whole ton of subjects. So hit up that link in the description below. It's free, you got nothing to lose. And now let's jump back into Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to create this sound library with your existing effects that you might have, as well as how to get the free sound library from Blackmagic Design. It's pretty easy and you need it to be able to use the audition tool, so check it out. Jumping back into Fairlight, let's take a look at how we can create our own sound library. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and click on your project manager. That's gonna bring this guy up and what we wanna do is create a new database that really just houses all of our sound effects. All I need to do is make sure that you've got this little guy opened up, right? So we can see our databases over here. Currently, I'm in my local database. What I wanna do is add a project library. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add project library. You're going to get this window right here and I'm going to name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it sound effects. And then you want to choose a location where this database is going to live. So you can keep it on your internal hard drive if you want, wherever you have your other databases. In my case, I'm just going to throw it on an external hard drive for now because this is an extra one to show you guys how to create it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit browse and I'm going to pick a location on my external hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this sound effects folder. Once you select the location, go ahead and hit create. So now it's created that new library for me called sound effects. It has one untitled project in there. So I'm going to just hit close and I'm already in that untitled project. So the next thing I want to do is go to my sound library, which is right here. I'm going to click open in that. Now I already have the Fairlight sound library installed. You can see it right here. And if you can't see this little drop down, just click on this guy right here. That'll open that up. So I don't see anything down here that says download the library because I've already got it. But if you are just getting started here and let's say for example i go to the new library that we created you're going to see right here it says no library connected and it's going to say add a library so because i already have the fairlight library it just says add a library but if you don't have that fairlight library that's free to download you're going to see it right here it's going to say download the 
uh, sound library from Blackmagic Design. Go ahead and click on that. Once you download that file, it's going to be a zip file. You can extract that, run the installer that comes with it on the Mac, and I'm sure it's the same uh, on a PC, although I haven't tried it on a PC. You just run the installer. It's going to install that sound library, and then it's going to appear here in uh, your sound library, and you'll see it called Fairlight Sound Library. And if I click on it, you'll notice there's nothing there and you might be like, where is everything? Well, you can search for different items up in here um, or if you press uh, the star period star, then it'll show you everything that's in that sound library. I think there's like 500 freebies in there uh, that you, you get with the Blackmagic Design sound library. But let's say you don't want that or maybe you have it or maybe you have a whole library or folder of your own sound effects like I do and you wanna create a sound library using your own stuff. So I'm going to go back to the new library we created, sound effects, and I'm going to say add library. Now, adding a library is super easy. All you have to do is navigate to the folder, the top level folder of where all your sound effects live. So for me, here we go. It's on my external hard drive, my sound effects. And if I click in there, I've got all different uh, sound effects. I think I have like 400 of them or something like that. So I'm just going to select that top level folder and it's going to automatically add in everything that's underneath that top level folder. So if I go ahead and hit open, you can see now it's scanning the clips and it's adding in 447 sound effects clips that then I'm going to be able to use in any one of my projects. Once it's successful, it says sound library scan successful. It added everything in and I can just search for anything here, say explosions. And here's my explosions. Maybe I want a whoosh. Here's all my whooshes. They pop right up. And then I can use any one of these to try out in any timeline that I want using the audition feature. Now you'll notice, okay, I'm in this database, but like this isn't my normal database, right? So if I want to go back to where all my projects actually live and then use this, come back to my home icon here, bring up my project manager. I'm going to select my local database, which is where all my projects live. I'm going to select the project I want to open. Boom, here we go. We're back in my normal database with all my projects. Go ahead and open my sound library. And now when I'm in here, we can click the little drop down in my sound library. We see the Fairlight library, the local database, which is where I am now. I got black magic, magic training sound effects and then sound effects that we just created. So if I click on that, now I can come in here and I want to say whoosh. There's all my whooshes. I can audition them. I can just drag and drop them into my timeline. You've got a lot of options on how you can use all these sound effects. Everything's right there. It's easily searchable, which is a little bit better sometimes than if you have them all in a power bin, which is how I was working for a long time. Uh, you know, you can't really, you could search through the power bin, I guess, but it might be a little easier to have it here in the sound library versus if you didn't use the audition tool, you just had your media in your media pool or, you know, in a power bin, you'd have to try it out in the timeline, bring it in, drag it, drop it, delete it, move things around, try different things. So that in a nutshell is how you can set up your sound library with all of your sound effects that you might have on your machine so you can easily search them, audition them and use them in your projects. By auditioning the sound effect, boom, you can drop it in there, try it out, see if it works. And if it doesn't, then you can just go try something else. Really cool tool here in DaVinci Resolve, guys. Love me some good audio stuff here. I hope these audio videos are helping your audio get a little bit better. Take those videos to that next level. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You learned a little something, smash that like button for me. Hey, subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. We'll see you.